Yes, Jesus is immoral. Not Jesus, you know, the guy, no, no. But the idea of Jesus saving us from our sins is immoral. Christians always throw all this argument, you know, God is just, you know, God, yada, 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 you offend an eternal being, etc. However, the Jesus concept, by God's standards, is still immoral. It still is illogical. It still is wrong. I mean, I like the idea, you know, you, Jesus saves you and you don't have to go to hell, etc. But it's wrong. And I'll show you why it's wrong. And I'll show you if you're going to play the Jesus card, why not send it? Just don't send anybody to hell. So Ray Comfort uses this argument. If you're a liar, you know, you're, a li you know, if you lied, you're a liar. If you're a thief, you're a thief. You, you know, if you even hated somebody, you're a murderer. This is what the Bible says. Yes, of course. So basically what you have is a lying, murdering thief. You know, if you stand before God on judgment day, how do you think you'll be judged? Obviously you'll be guilty. Of course. Okay. So he uses this thing, you know, if you're in a court system and you had a lying, murdering thief before you, you know, and he said, but I was a good person, you know, I did good things. No, you would still send that person to jail. Of course, of course. So this all lines up. But then he goes on to say, but then Jesus comes along. You're in court. You owe the court $50,000 or you go to prison. Then some guy comes in and goes, hey, I'll pay his fine. And then the law is satisfied. And then, hey, you don't have to go to prison. That's the argument. Okay, so Jesus sees from her sins. All right. You don't see a problem with that? <laughs> really? Um, okay. Uh, let's put it this way. You're in court. You're a murdering, lying thief. And the judge is about to convict you. And then what? Right before the judge convicts you, you go, hey, judge, I love your son. You know, your son right there, little Timmy. I love him a lot. Can you send him to prison instead of me? You know, and, and the person you murdered, his family's right there, you know, watching. And the judge goes, yeah, sure. I'm going to send my son to jail and you, you're scot-free. Scot-free to be a fucking murderer still. And the family just watches the murderer walk off unpunished. Do you think that would be just in our court system? But that's exactly what God does in his. No, no, no. God, you know, we're paying a fine. You know, we're paying, you know, the $50,000. Remember, Jesus is paying our fine. No, but we're not talking. I don't owe God money. I am a murdering, lying thief, blasphemer, you know, adulterer, etc. That's what I am. I'm, I, don't, I didn't steal $50,000 from the church, you know. I didn't steal money from God. God doesn't need money. Like Ray Comfort has said, I am a murdering, etc., etc. I am a despicable, horrible person in the eyes of our Lord. You know, so in our court systems, if in our court systems, if we're going to get someone off like that, someone else can go to jail for us. Would that work in our court systems? No, we would put that murdering psychopath in fucking prison. We get him out of the fucking public. So now <laughs> if that doesn't even work in our own standards, basically letting a murderer off, you know, putting someone else in jail. If that doesn't work in our standards, how the hell is that going to work in God's standards? So if God can make a concept like Jesus that bends the rules so much that not even our own standards would line up with that, then how the hell can we consider Jesus just, the idea? And also I would add to that, you know, God doesn't want anybody to go to hell. Well, if he can come with the con, he can, he can use a concept that our own standards wouldn't even agree with then why doesn't he just bend the rules a little bit more where no one goes to hell? You know? if I mean, if he's going to use this concept that is immoral by our, our own standards, why can't he just say screw it and just be immoral and not send anybody to hell? Hmm? No? Okay. <laughs> Guess not. And remember, you know, Christians who constantly throw this thing out, God is just, God is yada, yada, yada. Remember, what is just? Just is whatever God says it is. God is the creator. Just could be eating a sandwich. Just could be breathing. And if God made just that, we'd all just go to heaven. But no. God is a just God who comes up with immoral things that don't even line up with our own standards. And finally, if you want to know why hell is immoral, you know, even more so than Jesus, there's a video on my channel called Hell is Immoral. Check it out because I'm really going to dig deep into that concept. I love Jesus. Jesus is a great guy, but his concept of saving us wouldn't line up with our own standards. Thank you for watching, and I, I know I'm a dick. I know.